Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Airborne Dreadnoughts, where the Project 41808 prototype <laughs> has encountered the Amsterdam, another Birmingham class light cruiser, trying to go through the Suez Canal. Um, now, these American light cruisers are very annoying, so hopefully we'll be able to deal with them. But we'll just have to see. This is, oh, actually a refitted light cruiser with the new guns. Okay, then. Uh, the committee has been very busy uh, in between the previous episode and the last one. That's mainly because... Uh, I take a break from recording over the weekends, um, and they have decided that they really, really want a large, powerful battleship with, and they've even gone so far as to specify the gun caliber, 410 millimeter, 50 caliber guns, um, which is a pretty powerful vessel. Um, I don't have the guns or the hulls yet, so... I have ordered the scientists to begin researching them as a priority. Yes, there you are. Evil little shit. Right, let's go. Oh, a hit. Another hit. And some torpedoes. Nice. Yeah, those new guns are definitely scoring hits a bit more often. Amazing how often that happens where you smoke up and then immediately get hit. <laughs> Damage to the funnel. One thing I have noticed is these is the 60mm gun interferes with the main guns because it counts as a main gun or something. I'm not quite sure what the problem is, but it, it is quite annoying. Maybe when I refitted these I should have considered taking the 60mm off, but... It was requested by the committee, so it stays. A running battle now. I'm not having much luck with the uh, AP. Try some HE shells. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's much more effective. It's only the single launcher that we uh, destroyed. Ooh, that was a good hit, though. Very nice hits. She still has torpedoes though, so can't ignore the threat. Oh, again, loads of damage. That is the advantage of Cordite. Um, Cordite builds. You can get really nice damage on a hit, but you, you, you'll go through the armor less often. Here I'm just trying to go through the extended armor. Not trying to get a citadel hit. 
Just trying to cripple it. Really what I want is those last eight torpedoes out of the way. And we can close in. through fire damage. Also noticed um, the US has got trained crews, uh, which is why they're proving a little bit more effective than the Austro-Hungarians or the Japanese. Yeah, it settled into a chase. chance to pen. Although I can't quite see the yeah, red everywhere. Because of the rubbish angle. Destroyed a torpedo. Ah, oh, they're out of torpedo ammunition. Fabulous! Right, don't have to be so worried about them now. Good hit. Get some flooding on the go. Their cruisers are 42 million. Ours are 45, so it's a pretty even fight. See what I mean about the 60 mil interfering? And it's not. So I'm just going to switch the secondary gun off. That shouldn't happen, but I do know that it can be an issue where basically the secondary gun fire control messes up the main guns. I think they should, because uh, it goes like smallest gun first in the game's kind of logic. I think they should swap that round so it goes biggest gun first, personally. But just me. Anyway, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I will have a quick look at the state of the world as well. Uh, because I don't think I've done that for a while. Baltimore hits a mine. It's amusing. So, for us, things are okay. Mega growth. <laughs> How are things going for the Americans? Now oh, they've also got mega growth. Everybody's got mega growth. Must be a boom time. Still, though, they are not looking great in terms of their fleet size. We actually have a larger fleet than they do. And we don't have any submarines, so they are finding this difficult. And they're at war with a lot of people. Hmm. Oh, the other thing uh, I should probably do is expand the shipyard. So we can get up to 92, 93,000 tons. We just unlocked the Mark V 9 inch gun, which means that I think it's also a good chance to have another look at the Project 32309, because um, the 230 millimeter guns here will go from Mark IV to Mark V, I think, uh, and that's worthwhile little upgrade. Let's go into refit mode. And yeah, these are now Mark V guns. Um, I don't think there's really much else we could do. We could improve their armor quality from Crypt 3, though. If we wanted. But there's no particular need. What we can do, though, is you can swap to the Superior Cordite 3. We can upgrade their sonar set. 
Yeah, see, now I'm overweight to do that. Hmm. What, what else can we get with the crit four? Because if we go crit four, can we actually get an extra pip of range? Nearly. Nearly. Sad. Oh well, maybe save that for a future future refit. We do at least now have um, some spare displacement for radar, which we're working on. But just upgrading the guns, um, I'm happy enough with that. Uh, oh yeah, advanced hydraulics out of date now. So we can swap them to Electro Hydro 1. Uh, enhanced is still fine. Maybe give them an upgraded propeller shaft. Yeah, I think that's a reasonable reasonable little upgrade. Can we get them? No, that's also too heavy. Okay. Um, I'm going to save that design. And let's get them refitted. I don't think they're too much compared to the standard ones. Yeah, a few million more. We're rolling in money at the moment. So yeah, one month. We'll get all of those cruisers refitted. Should be good. Uh, what else are we getting? Anything good here? Nope. Range finders, stereoscopic five, so we're still probably about a year away from getting radar. Okay, well, um, I'm going to end the end the turn and uh, see if we get any, any more action. Well, certainly is some action. Uh, the Belknap, a Florida class battleship. Armed with six 356 millimeter guns. Uh, well, so that's what? 14.4, 14.5 inch gun, something like that, maybe? No, less than that. It's like a 14 inch gun, isn't it? Okay. Um, 60,000 tons. 453 million each. God damn. That's like four battleships worth. <laughs> Jesus. 32 knot top speed. That's pretty fast. Trained crew. Armor, it looks decent actually. Assuming it is even thickness across the across the ship. Why is it so expensive? Just bulk? I mean, 60,000 tons is quite a lot. Anyway, uh, they've been intercepted, presumably heading to or from the Suez Canal, by this Sverdlovsk, uh, the Kornilov, who... <laughs> I've had a few comments. It's like, he was a white general. Um, yes, he was. Um, but in this timeline, clearly he either chose the right side or um, this is to remind the Red Army of their failure. <laughs> one of the two. I prefer the first one. Where um yeah no he he chose the red side, um, but a, a light cruiser. This is one the uh, forty one eight oh eight, and a couple of destroyers, both the fifty one four oh eight. Okay, let's go. Mitty is going to flip a lid when they see that thing. Only six guns, though. Which is surprising. You're on screening duty, and you're on screening duty. You know what? Just, just form... No, actually, no. Stay as you are. Save your torps, though. Right. 
southwest. Now, they can just run off. They are two knots faster than me. I hope not. times 30 that's not the most promising in the world I could rush ahead with uh, the destroyers but I'd rather not <laughs> oh please don't be a ghost battle okay I'm gonna have to forwards I need to see if they're actually out there and normally I'd end the battle here but uh, I do kind of want to see if I can catch up to them battleship especially one that expensive that's a major major thing to be able to engage Worth chasing them a little bit. An hour in and I'm still at times 30. Uh... Yeah, if it gets to an hour and I'm still at times 30, I'm going to call it a ghost battle. I think they just... AI turned and ran, which... <sighs> you know... Maybe that's... I mean, they are faster. Yeah, I mean, I said a lot. Like, if, if that's what the AI is going to do when you load into the battle, go, well, I don't want to engage because I'm outnumbered. So, I'm going to run off. Then... Do that on the campaign screen. So, where I'm like, yes, fight! It's just a enemy, enemy got away. Yeah, we're into the, the shader region. Um, that is a ghost battle. That is very unfortunate. Very unfortunate indeed. Oh, was it damaged? Yeah, it was already damaged. So that does make sense. You know, if they've taken some damage... You know, they see an enemy ship. They guess it has... Whoa, what's going on there? Um, they guess it has... Uh, they guess it has some form of, you know, there's an enemy squadron coming at them, then, yeah, they're going to be like, nah, we're off. Yeah, he heavily damaged as well. Okay, that makes sense. But, and, it, and I totally get why the game does that, but don't load the battle. Just just have it ship, ship, ship escapes, ship runs away. Um, because otherwise it's just disappointing. Because I, I really wanted to fight that. <laughs> oh well, maybe we'll get another um, another battle with them, and we've made them use up a lot of fuel doing that. Yeah, I'm gonna cut. cut well, yeah, I'm gonna see what happens next time. Well, looks like we're getting a. <laughs> <laughs> second second bite of the cherry <laughs> the bell now again gets tagged by the Sverdlosk. um i i haven't seen stealth's video where he says he's he's stopping the covering dreadnoughts yet although i did know he's going to do that um but i have been watching his u.s campaign and he got really annoyed as the u.s when this kind of thing would happen where he would be trying to get a task force to retreat, and it keeps getting tagged by enemy ships. And, yeah, it's funny being... <laughs> like, yeah, it's... Yeah, I'm, I'm basically continually tagging that ship, stopping it from getting repairs, causing it to lose fuel. Uh, so eventually we might be able to actually get it to the southwest again. Right, this time I'm going to rush off with the destroyers in advance. Um, and I, I've, had, I've had a few people question, 
you know, ask me where where are you, how do submarines work? I don't not seeing submarines in your campaign. No, because they are well, they don't work. <laughs> um, not for me. I, I find them just annoying. Um, the one time I used them in the Japanese campaign, it uh, caused all sorts of problems. And uh, yeah, I leave my ships in port all the time. It works because task forces kind of broken. Anyway, we finally found the battleship, and I just I'm looking at it, going, why? Why is it so much money? This thing is four hundred million, and this has got like crazy armor. It does go really fast, but that is an in very anemic armament. Six 14-inch guns is not enough. Um, and yeah, we, we're running double that, which is pretty crazy. Uh, right, you to screen this Vedlosk. Behind the battleship. Okay. Wow, they've closed to within. That's a crazy close range. Seventy-five percent chance to hit. Uh, that's a lot of partials. Because I'm hitting the deck. Uh, right. We're hitting deck at this range is just annoying. See so if you can destroy their upper works a bit. Go back to auto. Right, let's have a look at you. Yeah, they've got fairly thick armour. Ah, they're turtle back ship. Okay. No, don't even bother. Don't even bother trying to pen them. Yeah, turtle back on. It, it is very broken at the moment. And <laughs> uh, um, oh, why didn't you use it then? Um, I don't want to make the game too easy. Because <laughs> if you can just build a ship that literally cannot be damaged, it's not very fun. Um, I don't find them very fun to play with or against. If you just stack a whole pile of resistance, uh, it, it's not very fun. There is a way around it, and that's just spamming uh, HE at them. Possibly the all odd torpedo. Run away. Whoa, what? What the fuck? Do you do extensive fire? Yeah, there you go. Fuck you and your turtle back. Burn. <laughs> so unreasonably silly. <laughs> uh, realistic naval combat. No, um... <laughs> No, very much not. Uh, but yeah, that was all... Oh, we've got 19 pens. But yeah, it was nearly all through partial pens. Um, I, I, I've talked about changes to the penetration system before. I definitely think they should go to unified penetration. Um, yeah, we'll talk about your surrender. Um and 
so that you don't get the oh I'm close range so I can't go through deck armor like it, it doesn't make any sense to me um, yeah sure because I'm hitting the deck armor at a high angle and it ricochets off or the effective thickness is thicker or whatever but just yeah use a unified pen and an angle please look at resistance <laughs> particularly turtleback turtleback is what it is like not act not um not performing properly anyway um moaning aside at 19000 victory points <laughs> and 453 million dollars of junk it just goes to the floor yeah it's tough but a, t a tough ship is great but if it doesn't have firepower it's just going to die because it can't stop enemy ships just wandering up to it and burning it <sighs> anyway and the stoddard as well good riddance too bad rubbish anyway I'm going to go and report my victory to the uh, to the committee, uh, and uh, yeah, I will see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.